Sam here from Sheridan Computers. In today's video, we're covering the latest release of PFSense Community Edition 2.8.1. This version was just released in early September 2025 and it's primarily a maintenance update for stability on bug fixes. There aren't any sweeping new features in this release. Instead, the goal was to polish the experience by resolving issues since the initial 2.8 release. NetGate does encourage all PFSense CE users to upgrade to this new version to benefit from the improvements. Sheridan Computers, IT, Communications, Support. Two point eight point one brings a series of minor enhancements under the hood, along with numerous fixes across various components. So let's go across the key improvements and new additions in this release. So we do have some new hardware support. They've added support for two point five gig SGM two, which is SFP ONT modules enabling better compatibility with certain 2.5 gig fiber and copper interfaces. ZFS has had some improvements, so you can now assign custom ZFS pool names for your firewall storage, just giving you more flexibility in naming your pools. And staying with ZFS, disk write operations have been reduced to minimize wear on drives and improve performance. Uh, if we take a look at the general stability fixes, this update is packed with bug fixes across multiple areas of the system, including dynamic DNS, PPPoE interfaces, OpenVPN, firewall and NAT rules, system logging, and UPnP services. So even though 2.8.1 doesn't introduce major new features, it does address many bugs to enhance reliability and security since the initial 2.8 release. Some of them things include auto configuration backup, the fixed an issue where backup entries showed incorrect timestamps. So your automated backup listings will now display the correct timestamp for each backup. They fixed a couple of PPPoE related issues. One fix addresses a problem where using IPv4 virtual IPs on ones could cause a configuration loop. Another fix ensures that IPv6 gateways on PPPoE appear correctly. So previously they might not have shown up without router advertisements. So these changes improve stability for anyone using PPPoE connections. Apparently they've patched a rare but important bug, a kernel panic caused by use after free error in the OpenVPN interface driver. So this fix means that your PFSense box is far likely to crash when handling open VPN traffic and improving VPN reliability. I've never actually seen this issue. I've never had open VPN crash on me. Two firewall NAT issues have been resolved. The first, firewall rules using interface addresses such as NAT64 source will now correctly apply to the intended address. So both these fixes help ensure your NAT and connection balancing behave as expected. For system logging, they fixed an issue where the system logger, syslogd, was not respecting the configured interface IP binding. So after this update, if you bound your logs to a specific interface or address, syslogd will honor that setting, ensuring logs go out the correct network. In the UPnP service, which is something I don't use, they fixed the user interface quirk on the status page. It'll now properly show a disabled status message when the UPnP PCP service is turned off. This is a minor user interface fix that clears up confusion when you toggle UPnP on and off. All of these fixes contribute to a more stable and secure PFSense experience. While well, no major security vulnerabilities were explicitly highlighted in 2.8.1, keeping your firewall up to date with the latest patches is always the best practice. I've upgraded a couple of systems and upgrading to PFSense CE 2.8.1 is fairly straightforward. There are no changes to system hardware requirements. It continues to run on the same FreeBSD 15 base introduced in 2.8 and still requires a 64-bit compatible system. If you are upgrading from a version earlier than 2.8, be sure to review the 2.8 release notes for any major changes introduced during that release. And I do have a specific video for upgrading to 2.8 from a previous version. Regardless of your current version, always back up your configuration before upgrading and consider uninstalling any third-party packages or add-ons. This gives the best upgrade chance to go smoothly. I've done various videos on upgrading which literally involve removing all the packages before you do upgrade. I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube that do the update from the console. I've never needed to do this. The update can be applied through the web GUI, so just navigate to system, update, select the current stable 2.8.1 branch and start the upgrade process that way. And as with any upgrade, after rebooting into 2.8.1, double check that your key services, firewall rules, VPN, DNS, etc. are running correctly. In the unlikely event of any issues, NetGate's documentation has a helpful guide on troubleshooting upgrades and you can seek advice on the official NetGate forum if needed. 
It's a 2.8.1, maybe a minor version bump, but it delivers important fixes and refinements that improve your firewall's reliability and performance. And with enhancements like new hardware support and numerous bug squashes across networking, VPN and system services, this update does help ensure your PFSense router runs smoothly. So all users are encouraged to upgrade to 2.8.1 to take advantage of these improvements and I have had no issues. So as I say, it was released at the beginning of September. I've been running it for a couple of weeks and I've had no problems. If you found this video useful, please give it a like so I know that it's not pointless to do these videos. If you'd like to see more videos on PFSense, consider subscribing to the channel. If you need PFSense consulting, head over to SheridanComputers.com and fill out the contact form. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.